How does somebody go from being a parking attendant, earning $9.50 in Queen Center Mall, to now being able to earn over $100,000 as a web developer? How does that happen? To be honest with you, this isn't about selling you anything. This is about telling you about a career that you should be focusing on, okay? Now, a lot of you guys are working dead-end jobs, and I wanna tell you guys about my story about how I became a web developer. When I was 14, I liked Dragon Ball Z, okay? I'm guilty of that, right? <laughs> and then I was interested on it, and I said, let me build a website. I built a website, Back then, okay, that was early 2000s, probably like 99, 2000, around there. And basically, I built this website for all my friends to go in and watch all the videos of Dragon Ball Z. Fast forward to 24 years old, okay, now I'm over here struggling, I'm working dead end jobs, I'm working all the type of BS jobs that you could think of. Retail in multiple stores. I worked in warehouses, moving boxes, and I worked in a supermarket, a meal mart, okay? <laughs> I worked as a parking attendant, okay? Queen Center Mall, I was at the booth. You would come in, you would do your three, eight, four hours, I'd get $6, and <laughs> I'll give them their 50 cents back, okay? That was my job. All right, and I knew that was a dead end job, and I knew that that wasn't the place for me. You know, at some point, I needed to find something uh, for myself that could take me out of what we call the hood. It was pretty much a low income neighborhood, okay, and it was a place where I always say, man, I just don't want to die in Richwood, right? I don't want to stay here forever, and everything that I did just seemed to keep me there. There was no way that I was gonna be able to move out out of my mom's house. There was no way I was gonna go live my own life because everything in New York City is so expensive so you actually need a good job to move anywhere and you need a career so then I said you know what I'm really interested in programming and I know there's opportunities there so I decided that I was gonna learn how to code online by myself on my own time and that was the best thing that I did like imagine this my mom has earned $35,000 for years, like my whole life, okay? Since I came here from Dominican Republic, right? I seen my mom earn $35,000 her whole life, and I was like, man, I just wanna get to 50. In my head, in my head, I was just like, I just wanna get to 50. If I get to 50, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be a little bit better than where my mom was at, and I felt like, you know what, that's gonna be fine. But after learning to code, I realized like there were so many opportunities, right? You know, I went from working for $9.50 to then at the end, earning up to $100,000, right? Getting offers from companies that you would think like, man, you need a degree, you need to be good in math, you need to know all of these things. And then I realized like, yo, we've been lied to, right? Everybody thinks that becoming a, a developer, an engineer, you have to be a genius, you have to be the best in math. And you know, that's just a lie, right? You know, this is just a skill just like anything else. You can actually teach yourself how to code online and, and it's very simple, right? Now, this is something that I never thought I would get to this point, right? I'm earning over $100,000, right? And I'm earning passive income, which is the key. I want you guys to hear this. This is the key of this video, passive income. What does passive income mean? It means like, hey, you create a service or a platform or some type of idea you might have in your head and you create it once and then after you do the hard work, it pays you off forever without you having to touch it or do anything. Okay, that's what passive income really is. Okay, and when I was working as a developer, I decided, you know what, I can't stop here and just become just a regular developer. I need to continue, okay? So even though this industry gave me so many opportunities, I knew I wanted to boss up. You know, there's something like <laughs> this guy called Dame Dash that I, I respect a lot. He says, it's like you gotta boss up, right? You can't be an employee forever. You have to boss up at some point. And the best way to do that was to make your own income, okay? So at some point, I came in, I was working full time, and after that, I was able to make the same amount that I was making full time, but with different applications and different things that I built. 
So now I'm earning twice as much as I was earning before with just the skills that I learned, right? The skills that I learned from everything from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, you know, Ruby, Ruby on Rails, you know, no, no JS, like these things, man, that it might seem difficult at first, but once you get it and you have the right instructor, then you're fine. You're good to go, okay? Now, I make this video and to share this story with you guys because I think it's very important. You know, it's very important to let people know what's out there. You know, especially people that look like me, people that talk like me, people that, you know, we out here dabbing, you know what I mean? Like, we chilling, we got the sauce, right? <laughs> that's just me playing around. But that's my personality, right? I'm just a real dude, I'm just a regular guy just like you, right? I like to have fun, I like to play around. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's times where we have to be serious, right? We have to take control of our lives and say, you know what? I'm not going to be here in a dead-end job. I'm not going to be here in a job that's going to get automated a year from now, right? I want to be working in a career, something that I can say, you know what? There's going to be growth, right? I have a friend of mine who still works at Foot Locker, right? Worked at Foot Locker for a long time. And to this day, he's still working in the same store, even though they changed the name from Foot Locker, right? So he's still working in the same store since high school. There's no growth. He's not manager. He's not the owner of the Foot Locker. He's not the owner of the store. He's still the same employee coming back, getting you the same sneakers. Now, look at the difference, right? I could have came in and, and, and did the same thing and stayed in a dead-end job, but at the end of the day, now I'm 31, I have my own company, I'm able to create any application that I want, I'm also teaching people how to learn how to code online at an affordable price, like, I changed my own destiny, okay, and I love my friend, and it's fine, not, everybody, not everybody's built to do something greater, right, not everybody's built for that, some people, they give up, some people, you know, they're comfortable, they comply with whatever they have in front of them. But for somebody like me, I know there's something more out there because I see it every day. I see people, you know, living good lives, being able to go to vacation. I see people driving good cars, right? Having nice houses, having their kids in private school. And it's like, I look at that and I'm like, if they were able to do it, I know I need to find a way for myself to do it, right? And I just wanted to share this story with you. My name is Joe Santos Garcia. Basically, I'm a web developer, all right? I hope you guys like this type of content. I like to share my stories. I like to come in and help you out how to transition into becoming a web developer, right? Or even any type of developer. You could be a game developer. You could be a software developer. It's HTML email developer, the marketing, content editor. There's so many opportunities out here. But you just need to know the skills, okay? And that's what I do on my channel. I hope you guys like this type of video and just come to my channel. It's called Coding Face, all right? I also have a website called CodingFace.com. Check it out, right, when you get a chance. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoy this type of content. Peace.